Hello, hello. This is Affinity League 25 with Tkush35. Welcome to match one. Let's get started. Uh, let's see. We have a little bit of ramp here. Overseer and Volt Scourge. Calvonic Blast seems capable. Our big payoff here is basically Steel Overseer, but with the ramp we can cast two drops, which is decent. I'm going to hold this other Ornithopter, but I am going to play the Vault Scourge. Holding the Ornithopter because putting it on the field doesn't really do anything. It's not going to be attacking next turn. And it just generally exposes another creature that I don't want to expose or don't need to quite yet. Bloodstained Mire into a Blood Crypt. If it's untapped, then it's probably some sort of hand hate. Maybe a fatal push if they're feeling it. Ooh, Faithless Looting. Okay, probably Black Red Hollow One is my guess. Blood Moon. Main deck Blood Moon. Can't say I've seen that in a Hollow One. Lingering Souls. This could be Mardu Pyromancer of some sort. Uh, Champion will be great as soon as we can actually cast him. Move my mic a little back so I'm not breathing into it. Let's get him with the Vault Scourge and then I'll cast the Overseer. Overseer will likely die, but if we get him out there, that's it. Still something. And... I'm going to get out the Ornithopter this time. I didn't have to because I could just play him with Steel Overseer, but if I do this turn and Steel Overseer lives, then it's another point of damage I can attack with next turn. Reason to keep it in hand would be if this is Black Red Hollow One, which it's a strange build if it is, then it would be uh, another card that I could discard and not lose. Yeah, Fatal Push on the Overseer. So I'd like to see either a land, maybe a Cradle Plating. Drum kind of counts, but not really. I guess as long as the Ornithopters don't die, it'll be doing something next turn. And then we can potentially play the Edge Champion with a decent number of artifacts on the field to protect it. Them being at three means they have access to Culligan's Command. We haven't seen, yeah, Mardu Pyromancer. That is what we thought it would be. Another Ornithopter is decent. Going to cast the Edge Champion first. Or do I want to kill the Pyromancer? Killing Pyromancer seems decent. I'm going to go to attacks first. I like killing the Pyromancer because that will definitely slow them down. But getting Etch Champion out this turn is also pretty good. I think I'll get out the Champion since that'll get me closer to killing them. Then I'll get out this Ornithopter for extra defense if necessary. Best draw right now would be Cranial Plating. Or, I suppose Master of Ethereum wouldn't be too bad. Another Etch Champion would be acceptable, but it doesn't make our clock too insane. 
their lingering souls in the grave is likely going to be cast, which will stop Vault Scourge from attacking. Collective Brutality. Yeah, that'll just outright kill Vault Scourge. Which removes one of our flying capabilities, and then there's Lingering Souls. Yep. Yep, yep. Cranial Plating would almost seal the deal here, I think. If we could draw it. Or we'll just draw another Ornithopter. Which is actually fairly unfortunate. I am just going to cast it right now to get rid of that Pyromancer. Um, having these Ornithopters is a fairly nice defense against the one ones. So I'm going to cast the other Ornithopter and attack with Etch Champion to keep getting it chipping away at their life total. They don't have anything big yet that is worthy of trying to block, I don't feel. And this will also get us closer to a potential one swing kill if I draw cranial plating and they don't have a K command of some sort. We're fairly insulated against crazy blowouts. Well, with all the ornithopters. Unfortunately, those ornithopters aren't helping too much. They're going all in. I think I'm fine to block and save a couple points of damage. I assume they have some sort of sweeper or something. Or they just really wanted to get in for that one point? I guess they just wanted to get in for that one point. Hmm. Well, that makes me think that I shouldn't attack with this Nexus. But it is an extra point of damage. I think at this point I have to. get in there for every point of damage that I can since I'm not drawing particularly strong bunch of ornithopters and then a dark steel citadel doesn't help too much yeah I suspected some sort of removal Yes, that does that does do something. If they have a way to remove lots of ornithopters, then the edge champion might get exposed. I suppose that would have been reason to not attack with the blink moth, especially with them having mana open. Edge champion is more or less a freebie. attacker and so perhaps it's just better to get in with him especially now because I don't have three mana for cranial plating hmm but if they didn't have it it was a way to end the game faster I suppose banking on them not having it is not worth it going to make yeah let's block them all no point in taking extra damage ravager is decent 
I can go in for a kill a little bit later. I think I still cast him pre-combat. <clears throat> and since opponent has two mana open, I don't see much reason in exposing myself this turn. Ravager will be useful in response to removal spells and whatnot. And keeping safety in mind, I can pile onto the Ravager at some point for the kill. Or sorry, the Edge Champion using the Ravager. They're probably going for Raveler at some point here. Two cards in hand. Alright. Awesome. Getting game one against them is pretty good. I think... Master's probably out... Uh, Mem Knights don't do me too much good. The question is what I want to bring in. I assume Stubborn Denial is decent. Rest in Peace is also good. Shut off their graveyard. Damping Sphere I don't care too much about. Uh, Whip Flares is, are good. Probably bring in the other Rest in Peace. Go down another Memnite. Go down Overseers. Karn seems pretty decent because he keeps generating card advantage and creatures. So let's give that a try. Well, this is a lot of nothing except for rest in peace. I don't think that's quite worth it. Being on the draw, rest in peace doesn't inherently shut them down. I'm going to mulligan. This is a bit better. So I will keep it. Uh, but I will bottom that drum because I definitely don't need more ramp. It's not going to do me any good with the minimal number of creatures I have. Plating's decent. Next is drum. Ornithopter... Opal. So now I have two mana. I could play the Ravager with nothing to put it onto except the Ornithopter. So I think. Hmm. I think I will instead play the Plating. Because the Plating I could then put on the Ornithopter next turn. That seems like a slightly tough decision. Or I play the Drum and nothing else. That doesn't seem right. Yeah, I'm going to play the Plating. It gets out of my hand, so it can't be thought seized or anything. If they have no removal, being able to equip it to the Ornithopter is quite strong. If they play something like Pyromancer, which they did not. Okay, Edge Champion's really good here, though. And we can cast that right now. Uh, yeah. The next turn I can equip and swing in.
having five artifacts on the field right now. Shouldn't leave the champion too exposed. They could have a K command, which will kill Ornithopter and Plating, I assume. Which will be sad, but not the end of the world. Engineered Explosives X2. Well, that'll kill Plating. Next turn. Not this turn. I don't know how good that is for them. It will get the plating, which will save them a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to play the Ravager right into it. Especially having that Darksteel Citadel now. Uh, because I can crack in for quite a lot. So let's play the drum. Let's play the Ravager. Equip the plating. And swing in for 10. Which is not something to sneeze about. Do I want to make it 11? No, because I want the Ravager counters to be able to go on the Blink Moth Nexus. Er, no, I guess I want them to go on the Champion. Hmm. It is an extra point. That seems fine. Then the explosives. Probably on my turn. It means they need to leave two mana open. Which means they have one mana with which to do anything. I must be careful with the Ravager triggers, as that might expose Champion. Yeah, so they are exploding right now. So I will eat the plating. And let's see, as it stands, this will make it a two turn clock. I could bump it up a little by eating one of the drums. I don't believe I need. It is a little extra protection. And going from a 4-4 four four to a 5-5 five five doesn't win me the game. If I go four, five, six, seven, eight, that's only two, and then they just kill the champion. So I'm going to leave it as a two turn clock. And I think that should be fine. not going to attack with Nexus, that way I have an extra artifact I can bring out. And then I'm going to play this Ornithopter to have another artifact on the field. And I think this should be pretty much in the bag. Opponent disagrees. They are digging for something. Something that has one mana. Yeah, I didn't think so. Alright, awesome. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in match two.